Hey everybody, so uh, I wasn't able to find a partner on short notice, so I grabbed this bottle and I put him in one of my jackets. I wanted to go over uh, some of the finer points of the MGS5 knockout shot, which you might call something similar to the like, corkscrew punch out of boxing. <laughs> couple reasons why Big Boss or Venom, or Venom Snake might suggest that you punch this way. The Diamond Dogs are operating in a military environment, which means if they hurt their hand, it's going to impede their ability to use their weapons, use their medical skills, climb ladders, interact with objects in the environment. How do you deliver a good shot while still protecting your hand as best as you can? Well, you hit with the first two knuckles. If you clench your hand naturally, like if you just let your hand sit, clench it without thinking about it, you'll notice that these bones are in alignment with the big radius right here. These bones are very thick, very strong. I know that if I want to put a hard shot on target, I want to use the biggest, hardest weapons I got, which are going to be these two knuckles, and they're in the strongest bone structure when they're aligned like this. So this is why you'd want to use these ones. When, when Venom Snake throws the corkscrew shot, what he does is he's Throws it from like a cross, basically, and you know he's slapping the guy's rifle down or whatever, and he turns the fist inward like this to make contact with the knuckles on kind of a curving inward and downward arc. Now, why would you want to do that? Turning the hand inward like this, boom, ensures that you'll hit with these two knuckles either on the chin or down here in the brachial kind of area, which is another good shot, and that's going to shake him up really good. So I was actually taught to throw, <laughs> to throw my hooks with MMA gloves with the fist actually turned inward, like this, right? So that's in the same sense what, big, what Venom Snake is doing when he throws his shot. He's going bam, like that, making sure he's got that aggressive inward turn of the fist. Good reason to use this shot, uh, aside from the one previously mentioned about the knuckles, is that even if you say, even if you do hit with the wrong part of the fist, at least if the arc is going downward and inward, towards the neck and towards the jaw, it's gonna be a lot more forgiving when you hit than if you hit somewhere up here where the bones were very, very hard. Mike Tyson broke one of his hands in a street fight. Uh, he actually cracked it, uh, cracked his third metacarpal on a guy's forehead like this. I don't know if it was a straight or if it was a, you know, a hook, but you know, whatever happened, happened. He cracked this metacarpal. Mike Tyson probably has got pretty fucking hard hands, but even a, even a pro boxer can break his hands if he hits with the wrong part, especially on the hard part of the head. When people have something coming towards their face at high speed, a lot of them will flinch, naturally, right? They'll suck the chin down, bring the shoulders up, bring the hands up at the very least, right? So, or, you know, say a good boxing posture, right? With the fists up. So, when you've got that downward arc, what they would call in CM boxing, the diving board, the chances of you slipping your hands over his hands are a lot better than if you just throw the shot straight. So that's something to think about as well. One thing that's interesting about when Venom Snake throws the shot from behind is that he doesn't throw it while the guy's facing away. He actually, you know, he does the, whatever it was, the palm strike to the back, to the back of the leg, and then he actually grabs the guy, grabs the guy, turns him around like this to face him, then he throws the shot. Oh, the thing about the weapons-based environment is that if this guy's got rifles, pistols, knives, it's hard for him to use them on me if he's facing away from me. So if I've got the advantage of being behind him, why would I turn him around and let him start fighting back? I want him facing away from me so I can drive in those good shots here, just knock his ass out before the fight even begins, as opposed to Big Boss who does the big cinematic, wow, spins the guy around, bam, right? Honestly, I would rather keep him facing away from me, hit him with something really hard without him getting a chance to do anything about it, and then go on my merry way.